the word uh, non uh, that is that's legally um, word. Is there yeah. a version of common law, uh, the same word? So, uh, the only other thing you could do for like more like a common law kind of thing is when they say to sign the paper, sign it at the very top on the left hand side. That's basically the same way. That's not a sumpsit. Not a sumpsit is just saying you're not assuming any liability for anything above your signature. What you could do, they say sign this, you sign it at the very top. Because you're only mm -hmm. liable for everything that's that's above your name, not what's below your name. So it's right. basically the same concept. They say sign this, okay? I did sign it. No, 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 I want to sign it here. You didn't say that. I'm signing it here. Why? Because I'm not bearing any liability. Go ask your legal advisor. He'll tell you why I signed it at the top. But see, that's what I'm saying. And people say, Carl, you never said this before. That's right. Dude, this stuff is unlimited. People are like, well, Carl, how many bags of tricks do you have? How many do you want? <laughs> you know, this is a game. It's like, how many moves are there in chess? I don't know, billions? So how do you want me to explain all these moves to you? Dude, use your own, use your own mind. Use your own thought. Why are you signing this piece of paper? What is paper? Why think? What's my name? What's the stuff above it? Who wrote it? Who created it? Who's liable? That's all you got to do. Figure that yourself. Look, dude, I don't read this shit in a book. I guarantee there ain't one damn YouTube video. I guarantee there ain't one damn book that says, look, if you don't want to be a liability, sign it at the top of the page. I guarantee you're going to find that fucking nowhere. Why? Because people like me who know how to do shit like that wouldn't think like, you know what, I should put that on in the book. Why? Because, you know what, you know, it's a good trick to know. It's like, oh, come on. You can make up these tricks as you go along. Just like I do. When I get thrown in that situation, I'm playing a game of chess, who am I playing against? And then I act accordingly. Do I want it to last a long time? Do I want it to uh, go quick? How do I want to play this? If he makes two moves and I realize I ain't getting out of this, I'll just surrender immediately. Say, so, you know what, fuck, you got me. What? I see the way this is going in the next 17 moves. You know what, fuck it, you won. That's what legal society does to you. They see I can make two, three moves, and they say, you know what, screw this. What? We know you know what the fuck you're doing. What? Yeah, we, we ain't prosecuted. We're done. We'll go deal with somebody else who doesn't know the fucking game. Kind of like what they did with Gus. They seen a couple of pieces of paper, saw that he got the game. He was like, you know what, we're done. We're not going to fuck with this guy. But they're fucking with his buddy, who's only got a misdemeanor, and who's got a lawyer, and to drop the charge on him. Because they realize this other guy don't have a fucking clue what he's doing. So in all reality, both of them, should have had the cases dismissed or discharged and failed the prosecute. But why should the prosecutor? I mean, he knows he's got a, you know, an easy uh, 500 bucks, easy 1,000 bucks. He knew playing with Gus wasn't going to be easy and wasn't going to be quick. And he knew, you know what? Deep down, if Gus really knows what he's doing, the prosecutor knows, you know what? I could be held personally liable. The prosecutor's like, uh, I don't want to be held liable. You know what? I'm going to bail on this one. And I guarantee you, I'm going to tell my other prosecutor buddies and nobody's going to touch us with a 10-foot pole. Because this guy knows what he's fucking doing. And it ain't worth. We got this other guy sitting right next to him in the passenger seat. He doesn't know what the fuck to do.